Hey guys, welcome to Distance Learning with Lee, where I make your learning super easy, right? And in today's video, we will be looking at number patterns, right? And the different sequences you'll be tested on in your grade 12 mathematics paper one, all right? So you can go check out the mathematics grade 12 study guide, um, and it is found on the Department of um, Education website. So I'll make sure that I um, put down the link um, in the description box so you guys can go check it out and download it so that you are following with me when I do the videos, okay? Because um, in all the videos that I'll be uploading, I'll be going through the mathematics um, grade 12 study. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can differentiate between an arithmetic sequence, right, a quadratic sequence, and a geometric sequence, okay? Because in your grade 12 mathematics paper one exam, they might tell you that given this arithmetic sequence, or they might not say what kind of sequence um, it is. So you must be able to determine using the following um ways that i'm going to be showing you okay guys so let's look at the first one this is how you will know whether a sequence is arithmetic okay given an example like this where you're given five nine thirteen and seventeen okay you need to take your second term minus it with your first term you see what you get your third term minus your second term and see what you get and your fourth term minus your third term and see what you get when we take nine minus five what do we get we get a four when we take 13 minus nine what do we get we still get a four and when you take 17 minus 13 what do you get you still get a four all right so what we see here is that there's a common difference the first common difference gives us a constant value and that's when you'll know that you are working with an arithmetic sequence okay the first common difference right you will get a constant value okay let's move on <clears throat> so now how will you determine whether a sequence is quadratic Okay, let's say you're given an example like this, where you're given 6, 12, 22, 36, 54. Okay, all right. So what you're supposed to do in this case, what you're supposed to do in this case, you're still supposed to take your second term and you minus it with your first term, third term minus second term, fourth term minus third term, and your fifth term minus your fourth term. What do we get when you take your 12 minus 6? You get a 6, right? When you take 22 minus 12, <clears throat> you get a 10. When you take your 36 minus 22, you get 14. And when you take your 54 minus your 38, 36, sorry, you get 18. Okay. So already here, we can see that it is not an arithmetic sequence. Okay. Because the first difference does not give us a constant value so we need to continue <clears throat> we need to continue when you take your 10 and you minus with your you need to take your 10 minus it with your 6 you need to take your 14 minus with your, with your 10 and you need to take your 18 and minus that with your 14 and see what you get when you take 10 minus 6 what do you get we get a 4 when you take 14 minus 10 you still get a 4 and when you take 18 minus 14 you still get a four all right so with the quadratic sequence we see that with your second difference okay with your second difference you get a constant value okay with the quadratic sequence with your second difference right you get a constant value 
and then you will know that that is your quadratic sequence okay so now what happens when you are given a geometric sequence okay let's look at another example okay <clears throat> so if you are given a 5 15 45 135 405 and your sequence goes on <clears throat> right so generally you'd be thinking i'm supposed to take my second term minus what minus it with my first term so let's do that and see what we get second term minus it with my first term i get a 10 third term minus with my second term I get a 30. Fourth term minus it with my third term, I get a 90. Okay. And then the fifth term minus it with my fourth term, I get a 270. Already we see it's not an arithmetic sequence. So technically you'd still want to go on. Generally, you'd still want to be like, okay, let me continue. Maybe it's a quadratic sequence. Okay, let's continue and see what happens. Okay, when you take 30 minus 10, you get a 20. When you take 90 minus 30, you get a 60. And when you take 270 minus 90, you get 180. Guys, this is where you're supposed to have your aha moment, where you're like, uh-uh. Okay, I can see that it's not an arithmetic sequence because the first difference is not giving me a constant. And obviously, it's not a quadratic sequence because the second difference is still not giving me a constant we can't go on to third differences guys okay so this is where the light bulb needs to switch on and you're like oh okay therefore that means that maybe there's a common ratio between the consecutive terms okay there's a common ratio so we can't use the, the methods that we used right to determine whether it's an arithmetic or a quadratic sequence so clearly then it's a geometric sequence so we need to look for a common ratio between the consecutive terms the common ratio is um given it's equal your common ratio is equal to r okay we need to determine our r value okay so how do you determine that the common ratio okay so the common ratio which is given as r is equal to your second term divided by your first term Okay, which should be equal to your third term divided by your second term. And that should be equal to your nth term divided by your t in minus one term. Okay, so let's do that. Let's take our second term and divide it with our first term. Our second term is 15 divided by our first term is 5. What does that give us? It gives us 3. Okay, our third term divided by our second term. Third term is 45 divided by our second term is 15. That still gives us 3. That means that our R is equal to 3. So our common ratio between the consecutive terms is 3. And therefore, that's when we know that we are actually working with a quadratic sequence. Okay, guys. So just a quick, quick recap. Okay. You will be tested on different kinds of sequences, right, in your grade 12 mathematics paper one. You might be given an arithmetic sequence, a quadratic sequence, or a geometric sequence. How you'll know that you are working with an arithmetic sequence is that there'll be your first common difference will give you a constant value, right? How you'll know whether you're working with a quadratic sequence is that your sec there's a second common difference, okay? There's a second common difference, okay? And then how you'll know whether you're working with a geometric sequence is that there won't be a first common difference or a second common difference, but there will be a common ratio between the consecutive terms, okay, guys? So check out my next video, right, on how you can use right, the arithmetic sequence formula, the quadratic sequence formula, and the geometric sequence formula, right, okay, in determining the general equation of a sequence. Okay, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you love this content, and please share the channel with, um, 
other students that you might know of that are currently in mathematics guys we are currently preparing for your mathematics exam and this channel is going to be very beneficial to you guys because as you can see now i'll be going through the mathematics study guide and taking you through all the units okay guys so please 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 share the channel and i'll see you guys on my next upload